You tell a man that that's the beginning of your shame, or not to her that that's the beginning of her trouble. Abba. And then the same 2,000 he gave to someone, he saw an alert of, I mean, somebody gave 2,000 to him, and he was thanking God for the 2,000. And then from there, 20,000 came, and 200,000 came, and also 2 million came. Boy. Boy. So, listen to me. Your life is in your hand. You choose to maximize it or you dash it against a rock. It's in your hand. As he was speaking to us, and I just remember, I said, look, wonder, I mean, wonderful achievement in life is not sense of belongings, but sense of appreciations and thanksgiving. That is the greatest wonders in life. No sense of belonging. People are running about what to have, what to have, what to catch, what to carry, what to have. That is not the greatest wonder, sir. The greatest wonders is no sense of belongings, but sense of appreciations. Until your sense of... Now, read with me. First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 4. Let's see what the Bible said here. First Timothy chapter 4. He said, for every creature of God is good. And nothing should be received, I mean, refuse of it. If it be received with what? Thanksgiving. So, whatever God puts in your hand part time is good for your life, sir. How you receive it, the Thanksgiving is what matters. You are in need of a pursuit and you have Gary in your hand. It's good. It's good. You are in need of curry right now and you have nothing but roasted yam. It's good. You want to live in five bedroom flat and then you are in one face me and face you. It's good. How you are appreciate it, it was matters. How you appreciate it is what matters. People are just too faster than their shadows. God's servant was riding a beetle. Very grateful. I heard him say one day, he said, where we trek through, now we are flying through. Boy. Where we trek through, we are flying through. So, beetle was good to him at that time. Even trekking was good to him at that time. But today now he's flying through. Is flying through. Please don't tie the hand of God from blessing your life. Don't tie his hand. Don't tie his hand. Every creature, whatever God created, that he has manufactured and give to you in any way is good. If you can receive it with thanksgiving. Some few days ago, I sat in my office and I was taking a lifting. And the Holy Ghost brought it back to my mind. 1983. You know recycling? You put it inside water. And then after some while, you take it from the water and hang it. Not to throw it away. You hang it against her. So as to put it back. The next time you want to drink the tea. You will recycle that lifting until nothing is fading out of it. You see, just let your head be correct. And here you are, you are seated drinking some good tea. Eh? Some you miss your tea, you turn the cup so that it won't drop. Yet you are complaining. People recycle lifting. I mean, 1983, when these same people that are making life hard. Guys who are carrying bread in their pocket and be cutting it and chew on the streets. Sir. I was there. People are boiling guinea corn, guinea corn in place of rice. In place of rice. Well, I don't know how much you can calculate the equation yourself. How much is bag of rice now to let you know where we are going? If you are not grateful to God now, it will determine where you end tomorrow. If you are not grateful to God now, sir, it will determine where you end tomorrow. You see, God has taken out of Shiloh to make every one of us flourish in hard times. 
but our senses must be correct to appreciate God for whatever he has given to us now and then we see the dignity of tomorrow you won't lose your place you won't lose your place to do please let's have that scripture again First Timothy chapter 4 and in verse 4 for every creature of God is good come on say it's good mm. Pastor Matthew told us in the first service he said it's not your birthday that is coming it's Jesus birthday eh? don't cause unnecessary trouble if you see snail eat is a creature of God are you with me? You see chicken, it's okay. You don't see anything at all. You see for more, please, joyfully. You see, people just trouble their side for nothing say. Eat for more is what you see. Eat for more with joy. If you eat that with joy, you know, the funny part of for more is that it doesn't digest on time, so you don't need another one. You don't need another one. You eat one in the morning, it will take you to the night. So relax your mind, sir. Relax your mind, sir. Relax your mind. Bring you to where you find yourself now. And tomorrow is waiting for you colorfully. You believe you let me hear your loudest amen. amen. You believe you let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Well, we'll be closing shortly. We have just a thanksgiving from our children this morning. They're already warming up. And then there was a wedding yesterday, which we'll be doing that. Put, put your hands together for Jesus and have your seat. Glory to God.